The Ibalong, also known as Handiong or Handiong, is a 60 stanza fragment of a Bacol full length folk epic of Bacol region of Philippines, based on the Indian Hindu epics Ramayana and Mahabharata. The epic is said to have been narrated in verse form by a native poet called Kadunang. It was passed on orally until it was presumably jotted down in its complete Bacol narrative by Fray Bernardino de Melandreras de la Trinidad. The Ibalong portrays deeds in heroic proportions, centering on white men or Tawang Lapad who were warrior heroes named, among others, Baltog, Handiong, and Bantong. They came from Boltabara, settling and ruling Bicolandia and its inhabitants. The epic is set in the land of Aslan and Ibalong. The mountains Asog, Masaraga, Izarog, and Lingyan were prominent features of the area. In its oldest known text, the folk epic does not have a title. The oldest existing account of it is written in Spanish, a non-religious festival. The Ibalong festival is celebrated annually in honor of the epic Ibalong as a celebration of the geography of Ibalan. It is unusual because Spaniards introduced saints and fiestas and all religious-related activities except Ibalong. It is also a celebration of the province's people and their resiliency, given the string calamities that regularly befall the region given its typhoon-prone geographical location. History The full-length narrative is presumably jotted down by Fray Bernardino de Melandreras de la Trinidad (1815–1867), a Franciscan missionary in Guinobidan, Albay, when he got acquainted with an errant Bicolano bard referred to in the epic as Cadunning. It was put afterward into Spanish by Melandreras in Ibel, a 400-age manuscript in verse on the ancient customs of the Indios of Albay. The 60 stanza portion was later included in a treatise on the Bacol region by Fray José Castaño in 1895. However, no credit was given to Melandreras by Castaño in the work, and so students of the Ibalong have since presumed that it was recorded and translated by Castaño himself. The full English translation of the Ibalong was first published in the Far Eastern University Faculty Journal, Manila by Marito B. Espinas. Summary of the Ibalong in English prose The epic opens with Illing requesting the bard Kadunning to recount the tale of the glorious Ibalong of long ago. Forthwith Kadunning described the ancient land and spoke of its first hero, Baltog, a white Aryan, who had come from Boltavara, Bharata Varsha or India. He planted a linsa patch in Tondal, now in Kamalag, which, one night, was foraged by a giant wild boar, Tandayag. The furious Baltog chased the Tandayag, killed it with his bare hands, and hung its enormous jawbones on a talisay tree in front of his house in Tondal. For this marvelous feat, he was acknowledged chief of the local hunters. The clans of Panacuasan and Asog came over to marvel at the monstrous wild boar in Ibalong, next to come was Handiong. With his followers, he fought the monsters of the land. But Oriol, a wily serpent who appeared as a beautiful maiden with a seductive voice, was one whom Handiong could not destroy. Meanwhile, Oriol admired Handiong's bravery and gallantry. Because of this, Oriol helped Handiong clear the region of ferocious beasts until peace came to the whole of the land. With Ibalong rid of wild creatures, Handiong turned to making wise laws and planting the land to linsa and rice. A period of the invention followed boat, farming tools, weaving looms, claywares, kitchen utensils, tree houses, and even a syllabary. Together, the people built a society with culture. It was a golden period in Ibalong when even slaves were respected under the laws of Handiong. Then came a great flood, freed by Unos, that changed the features of the land. Three volcanoes, named Hantik, Kulasi, and Izarog erupted simultaneously. Inundations caused lands to sink from which Lake Buhi came about, or rise, as in the strip of seacoast in Pasikau, Camarines Sur, and wiped out many settlements, especially the Dagatnong settlement in the Kalabangan Gulf. The Malbagong Islet formed in the Bacol River. The Inarahan River altered its course. A lofty mountain sank at Bato, forming a lake. Despite the calamities, Ibalong grew powerful under old chief Handiong, whose constant companion and good friend, by then, was the young Bantong. Although given a thousand men to destroy the half-man and half-beast rabbit, who could change its enemies into rocks, Bantong slew it single-handedly, to the loud cheers of his thousand warriors that reverberated throughout the forests and mangrove swamps. Brought to Ligmanan, the corpse of rabbit was horrible to behold. 
The great Handiang himself was shocked at the sight. At this point, the Ibalong epic fragment ends abruptly, and Kadunang promises to continue the story some other time. Curious ending of the Ibalong The fragmentary epic ended at that part where Bantong killed the fierce half-man and beast, Rabbit. Curiously, Handiang was saddened by Rabbit's death. In her study of the Ibalong epic, the Bacol scholar, Ma. Lilia F. Relubit, explained that the reason behind this is that Handiang might have mourned the passing of an era, when men were proved men by monsters and the skill of the hunt, when magic and ceremonial incantations infused life and explained his questions about life and nature and the supernatural. She also added that Handiang could have correctly foresaw the coming of a new age and aptly mourned the death of his time. Meanwhile, some others speculate that he foresaw the subjugation and destitution of his people under a less benevolent leader, as what, indeed, happened under the Spanish colonial rule. Parallelism with Spanish rule The existence of various Bacol oral accounts focus on a curse allegedly cast against the Bacol people seem to bridge the gap between the Ibalong epic and the subsequent decline and destitution of the Bicolanos. Some of these oral accounts indicated such a transformation. In Sorsogon, the legend of San Bernardino embodied this turn of events against the land and its inhabitants. The legend spoke about a mighty spirit who dwelt in Mount Bulusan and fell in love with a maiden there. This maiden did not love him back, and so the spirit was enraged. Panic filled everyone except one man, the favored suitor of the maiden. He killed the spirit to stop its violence in the area. Once killed, the spirit fell into the sea. The part of the water in which the spirit fell transformed into land. The old folks claim that the two islands with a slender strip of water between Samar and Sorsogon were the spirit of Mount Bulusan. It is now called the Strait of San Bernardino and is considered enchanted or encantado. The parallelism of the events in the Ibalong and the above cited legend with what actually happened under Spanish rule seems to suggest the total transformation of the inhabitants from a sturdy face to becoming passive people. Setting There is no definite date that can be given to where the epic fragment starts and ends, however, what little is known about the legendary beginnings of Bacol might describe the area circa 4, 500 years ago. The epic fragment portrays ancient Bacol as lush in jungle growth, teeming with fish and wild game, and dotted by mountain ranges, hills, and volcanoes. The bard Kadunang in the epic recounted this as the glorious Bicolandia, a beautiful and fertile ancient land of long ago, inhabited by strong and brave people, that existed before a catastrophe destroyed it some 4,500 years ago. Significance The Ibalong is an invaluable piece of literature that marks the spontaneous record of the ancient Bacol early struggle for principle, survival, and growth. It commemorates the Bicolano people's resilience against the typhoons that annually beset their region. It stresses the humble accomplishments and peaceful pursuits of the early Bicolanos, including the implementation of just laws. Among other pursuits is the cultivation of upland and lowland crops, the construction of dwellings on tall trees, the creation of the first boat in the region, the making of utensils, tools, and wares, but most importantly, the invention of writing. The epic depicts the transition of the ancient Bicolanos from the hunting stage to the agricultural stage, from the nomadic state to the settled life. The Ibalong teaches about courage, of how a simple act can bring about positive change. The heroes made use of this courage to lead the community out of chaos without any regard for self-glorification. This gives evidence of good leadership. However, it must also be noted that all three heroes were foreigners and not pure inhabitants of the Ibalong. This poses an argument that the locals had to depend on foreign abilities and leadership before they were able to obtain progress. Also portrayed in the epic is the concept of social class, of slaves and masters. However, this did not hinder the growth of the community because the classes respected each other. The Ibalong stresses the humble accomplishments and peaceful pursuits of the early Bicolanos. It is unlikely that the ancient Bicolanos had worshipped idols. Nothing is mentioned about gods in the epic except, perhaps in passing, Onos, the god of floodwaters. The very survival of these pre-Hispanic legends is direct proof of the vitality of Bacol culture. 
folk history or not, this epic is valuable for it enabled the Bicolanos of today to gain valuable insights into the misty past of their land and their ancestors. The epic is celebrated through street performances and floats on Ibalong Festival in Legazpi City, Bicol region since 1992. This is celebrated in Legazpi City during the month of August. The Ibalong Festival features the various characters from the epic while celebrating through song and dance. It is also performed in theaters like Tangalang Pilipinos Ibalong the Musical by Rodi Vera. Obstacles that the ancient Bacols encountered The obstacle of the giant wild boar that foraged Baltog's linsa crop, even as Baltog slew this wild boar in a celebrated combat episode in the epic, this still could have awakened his potential for the hunt, inducing him into becoming a part-time hunter himself. The second obstacle was Oriol, who tried to keep Handiong from ridding the land of ferocious wild beasts. The third obstacle took the form of natural catastrophes, the sweeping deluge, the violent and simultaneous eruption of three volcanoes, etc. The fourth obstacle was the half-man and half-beast rabbit who led a lot, and by whose magic turned to stone all those who fought him. Protagonists Many accomplishments and advances made by the ancient Bacols were credited to various characters mentioned in the epic, Baltog, Baltog was the first white man or Tawang Lapad to come to Bacol. Born in India, although India is called Boltavara, in the epic, to the brave clan of Lapad, he introduced agriculture to Bacol by planting linsa or a pay, which was a characteristic of early Indian colonizers. He slew the Tandayag boar in a bone-racking combat, Bantong. Bantong was a brave and cunning young warrior who single-handedly killed the half-man and half-wild beast rabbit, although Handiong had given him 1,000 warriors to help him do it, Dinahong, Dinahong, meaning, wrapped with leaves, is the original Bicolano potter who was believed to have been an AGTA, Negrito, or Pygmy. He helped the people learn cooking, making pots called koran, stoves, earthen jars, and other kitchen utensils, janantong, janantong made the plow, harrow, and other farming tools, havlom, havlom, from the verb havlan meaning, to weave, was the inventor of the first weaving loom and bobbins in the Bacol region, especially for weaving abaca clothes, handiong, the central figure in the epic is handiong. He came to Bacol with his followers after Baltog, and came to be the most famous of the Tawang Lapad. He cleared the land of predatory monsters, inspired inventions, reintroduced agriculture, built tree houses where anitos or idols were kept called mog, and set up a code of laws, establishing a golden age in his day. He is also known to have built the first boat and developed rice cultivation in flooded areas, Kimintong. Kimintong is attributed to have been the first Bicolano to fashion the rudder called Taiman, the sail called Liag, the plow called Arado, the harrow called Sarad, the ganta and other measures, the roller, the yoke, the bolo, and the hoe. A barangay called Kimintong is found in Daraga, Albay, Sural, Sural, or Surat, meaning to write, or letter, was the first Bicolano to have thought of a syllabary. He carved it on a white rock slab from Libong, which Gapon later polished, Takei. Takei was a lovely maiden who, according to legend, drowned during the Great Flood in the epic. He is believed to have become the water hyacinth in what is now Lake Bado. Beasts Wild Carabaos Wild Carabaos were not yet domesticated for farm work back then. They freely roamed the mountains in the early days. Handiong was able to domesticate the big-bodied beasts. In a short while, giant crocodile, also called Buaya, Handiong defeated the giant crocodiles in combat. Handiong was assisted by Oriol in killing many of them, which led tinged the Bacol River red with blood. The survivors were banished, along with Saramau, to Mount Kulasi. Monsters Long before Spaniards arrived in Bacol and introduced Christianity, the Bicolanos already believed in gods and supernatural beings. The epic fragment contains many of the supernatural faith and religion that the ancient Bacols had. Among them are supernatural creatures, Angongalud, the Angongalud lurked along shadowy riversides. They were hideous apes that transformed their victims into trees surprising them in a tight embrace. Burring, the burring was a one-eyed, three-throated creature which inhabited the swampy wastes of Panong. Rabbit, rabbit was a ferocious half-human half-monster that could turn people into the rock by magic. 
Rabbit is ugly, a liar, and had a loud voice. Bantong slew the monster using his bolo, Saramau. The Saramau were avenging monsters that were brutally fierce, ugly, and ruinous. They went after evildoers, usually to those with hidden guilt, who could not be brought to justice. Handiong exiled the Saramau to Mount Kulasi. Their human equivalents are believed to be those who take the law into their own hands, who have suffered injustice. Serpents. The serpents were probably related to Oriol, a serpent with a beautiful voice and could change its image to deceive enemies. Handiong sealed all the serpents inside a huge cave in Mount Hantik. Tandayag Bor, the word Tandayag means, giant, meaning that it could be any living being that had grown very old and enormous. In the epic, Tandayag was the boar slew by Baltog Tiburon, the Tiburon were giant flying fishes which had slimy, scaly, and hardy flesh and saw-like teeth that could crush rocks. Handiong and his men did not stop until they vanquished every Tiburon, winged sharks, the winged sharks mentioned were not really winged sharks but rather manta rays that would sometimes pop out of the water like flying bats. These monsters were soon restrained by Handiong to keep waters safe for his followers. Mog, moves are treehouses where the ancient Bikols lived and kept Anitos and idols. Dagatnong settlement, in the epic, the Dagatnong settlement was said to have been swept away by the Great Flood. The Dagatnong were the black pygmies who swelt on seacoasts, opposite of the AGTA who lived in the highlands. The Dagatnong originally came from Katmung. Volcanoes in Ibalong Aslong, meaning, faintly visible, was famous for its tales of sweet enchantment in the glorious days of long ago. Presently, almost nothing is left of it but a few ridges around a shallowing crater, asog, meaning, with only one testicle. It refers to the effeminate black priests of Aswang's devil cult that had its center in the wilds of this volcano during Bacol's epic age. It may also refer to a priest dressed like a woman. ASOG is now called Mount Ariga, Hantik, a big species of ants, the Hantiks, gave Hantik its name. The ants are believed to have inhabited this mountain's Kalupnadan caves, where Handiong drove and buried alive the wily, sweet-voiced serpents that masqueraded as lovely maidens, Izarog, from the word Isaro meaning, put together. Izarog was the rugged volcano where the Angonglut of the Bacol River forests fled to escape the wrath of Handiong, Masaraga. Masaraga is believed to have been where the Saramau had their cave. The name comes from the intensifier Ma and Saga, meaning a brilliant flame or glaring. Difference from other Philippine epics the differences of the Ibalong from other Philippine epics may suggest culture differences of the ancient Bacols from other ancient groups. The Ibalong suggests moral wholesomeness. There is no violence against another human being. The struggle of the ancient Bicolanos were primarily between people and the forces of nature. Sex was not played up in the Ibalong, unlike the usual run of many folk epics. The epic stresses humble accomplishments and peaceful pursuits of the early Bicolanos, the cultivation of upland and lowland crops, the construction of dwellings on treetops, the hollowing out of a tree trunk to make the first boat in the region, the crafting of tools, utensils, wares, the implementation of just laws, and the invention of writing. The Ibalong is close to authenticity. The Ibalong contains Bacol names of old places and landmarks that still exist. The Ibalong suggests the working harmony of opposites. An example of this is the conflict between Oriol and Handiong, who ended up helping each other rid the land of predatory monsters. References External links Ibalong, Bicol's Folk Epic Fragment. Visit Legazpi. Retrieved 9 February 2015. The Spanish and English translation of the epic fragment.